for black girl nerds. Well, Miss Calhoun, it is such a pleasure to talk to you. I've enjoyed you on the screen for, for many, many years and what you bring to the, to the movie space. And today we're going to talk about everything but a man. And I must say, Vanessa put me through it. She put me, <laughs> she put me through it for the whole, the whole, whole film. So let me, let me start with, Tell me about bringing this music now, uh, bringing this song, this movie to, to the forefront now, because I know it was still working on it in 2016, and now we are finally here to do a release. Tell me about the journey to, to releasing Everything But A Man. You know what? For me, the journey is different because I am just the actress. Mm -hmm. and, when, and when you're just the actress, you show up when they call you, mm -hmm. right? So it... For me, it was more or less a hurry up and wait. Mm -hmm. um, be ready, not ready. Mm -hmm. Ready, ready, ready. Nope, not. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. so it. But it has the film itself has been um, in certain circles mm -hmm. um, for the acquirement of, of distribution, and so that's a part of the ready, not ready, and me just sort of trying to. Um, keep myself seasoned and remain not necessarily um to keep myself in sync with what the story is about mm -hmm. who vanessa price is who max is and exactly to the, the maintain an understanding of the core of what the message is in the film mm -hmm. What what I appreciated about the storyline were two 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 important things, you know, choosing between having a very ambitious career and also seeing a light shined on a man from a different country that we normally don't see the light shined on with Haiti. Going back to the career aspect for your character, Vanessa, you know, she's a successful lawyer, which is very demanding. It takes a lot of her time and just because of the nature of the type of people she represents. She's a, she's a tough, she's a strong woman who can stand on her own two feet. And is that, there's been a lot of discussion on that characterization of black women, especially given now when the protests and women being at the, fore, at the forefront of supporting men. Is, is that trope starting to leave from black women? Are we, do you think black women are showing more vulnerability? Or is that still where we need to be in order to maintain and function in our current time? That uh, Honestly, that depends on, specifically on that woman's journey. You know, mm -hmm. um, where she is, if she's in her career or she's mm -hmm. beginning or she's in the process of self-discovery and hasn't gotten to the point of um, learning, gotcha. learning and understanding what her strengths are. I am so I'm so sorry. That's okay. There's no way to d disable that on at this on this right now. Um, That's okay. So, um, can you repeat your question for me? Sure. Right are now? are 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 we being afforded? Well, maybe a better question is: Are we at least afforded the space now to have more balance in our lives and not be? We have to be just so strong and carry everything on our shoulders. Can are we being even granted the grace to be more vulnerable, more not that that characterization that that we as black women seem to have? I don't think so. <laughs> because if you are uh, women are are nurturers and um, nurturers by nature, regardless of whether or not we have children or not, we're nurturers. Mm -hmm. And um, some women come into their nurturing, um, their point of understanding their nurturing or what their the purpose of um, being um, to nurture at different stages, you know? Mm -hmm. um, Vanessa, um, in this film, Everything But A Man, she, you meet her when she's um, got 
everything to the point where she feels she's extremely comfortable in life, but there's only, there's a missing link. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't understand what that missing link is until she meets um, Max. But even more importantly, when she meets um, Max's wife. Mm -hmm. And then, so the woman in our women in this time period where we are now with everything that's going on now nurturing more than ever being a positive voice a retrospective voice um an empathetic voice a compassionate voice to um, bring about healing and speaking up to um that real angry brother or that real angry sister or mother or aunt or uncle who's lost a child because of something unjust, trying to find the right way to prevent them from falling victim to the same thing. Does that make sense? More than ever, we have to be nurturers. More than yeah. ever, we have to promote healing. Mm -hmm. No, that makes that makes and complete it, sense. And it doesn't fall, and and that nurturing and healing cannot just fall on the shoulders of men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. With uh, with Vanessa, you know, she has that nurturing quality. You know, we see as she and Max kind of travel along in their relationship. Their you know their beginnings were a little a little un, a little rocky of how they even came to be. And over the course of their involvement, we start to see that that vulnerable, those vulnerable parts of Vanessa start to reveal themselves, but she immediately recoils when they aren't met or she feels they fall short because she's clearly a, a, a very a, a hurt individual and she's had a lot of hurt. Guarded. 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 Definitely. As we all are. As we all are. Um, it, it, um, our vulnerability, you know, are, is most definitely reserved for those that we find that balance of trust and that bond of trust mm -hmm. in any given situation. What, I, uh, what do I've always appreciated about you, Monica, and the roles that I've seen you with throughout your career is you're always memorable. When you're on the screen, we remember you. I have this little test that I do where I watch a movie and if I can remember the character names without having to go back and look them up online, then I can, then, you know, the, the movie resonated with me. And in this case too, with Vanessa, your performance was so strong that, I mean, I knew Vanessa within the first five minutes of the movie and I, that I was not forgetting that anytime soon. Is that, is that intentional when you select your roles that, that, that character has to have those, impressionable moments on the screen or what is your process when you're when you're selecting roles the roles honestly it's, um it feels as though sometimes um in the past that the roles have chosen me mm. you know and then so with that being said i think what my goal is to um my goal is to try and convey that person's, that character, I could say person, I'm sorry, but I mean, once I receive and un understand and embody who the character is, I w it becomes a person to me. And then being that person and trying to live their truth, their authentic truth, and not my authentic truth. So what the writer has written is what's memorable i believe mm -hmm. i just kind of i just kind of put the glove on and just started walking through the beats oh i think you do more than that monica you sell you you i, I love i love your humility but you definitely are doing more than that i try i try with with now, you know, I've, there are people who are are shifting to different ways of just trying to create create contents. And well, with TV shows anyway, not YouTubers or anything like that. But TV, I'd recently chatted with an actress, and they did their finale 
virtually because they were already in the midst of the pandemic when they had to stop production. So they kind of altered it into making the pandemic the storyline and shooting it, you know, like this, like we're talking to each other. Has that occurred to you to do any type of a project during this time where we can't really be out there and we can't film and you can't actively really work given the restrictions? Is that something that interests you or are you more interested in and in waiting it out and being back in the traditional sense? Well, I have to be honest with you. My experience, um, actors are like, I don't know, several years ago when they created the union, there are certain guidelines and things that um, we have to work through or work by. Mm -hmm. And generally when we go to work, they send us for a physical. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the guidelines for safety automatically are established from jump so the transition back into you know what is the quote-unquote norm of course it, it'll definitely be different you know the the physical contact or the physical space mm -hmm. spacing is, is definitely different because i mean if you're in a house and you're living you live with people your physical contact is different but if you're going back and forth back and forth back and forth that's where the the risk is have i thought of doing projects um of course because you always want to try and stay ahead of the curve or in the curve and not necessarily behind you always want to think of different ways to continue to to innovate and, and um be different or um um add to what's emerging in the content and um, um, and be an ambassador for change and different ways of doing and conducting business mm -hmm. and investing and reinvesting and not necessarily waiting for a production company that hires you to invest in certain tools like I was freaked out not freaked out but um, prior to this zoom call um someone had invited my mother to do yoga on zoom oh wow that's cool so my mom was bugging me about okay how do i set this up and how do i do this and so we were going back and forth back and forth with it and then finally i said well you know what let me just log in so i created a zoom account for myself you know mm -hmm. And then I zoomed another friend of mine. And so we were going back and forth with the whole playing with the lights and, you know, playing with the sound and trying to discover different ways, getting ready for um, self taping, for interviews, for um, auditions, um, situations like this. And um, this morning I got up. I couldn't sleep anymore. It was like one o'clock this morning. So I mm. powered up my computer. I loaded in that background mm -hmm. and um, I started putting on makeup. I tried on a few different wigs, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just trying to prepare myself. So um, to answer your question, to just kind of bring it down a little bit, a couple notches. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have been in preparation for, um, I didn't want to be behind. I wanted to be a right in sync with the curve of things. You usually are. You know, you've been part of a lot of memorable, again, a lot of memorable projects that still really resonate, especially in the Black community. You know, when I mentioned that I was speaking to you today, a, a, a few friends of mine were, were pretty excited and just started rattling off some of your, some of your classic lines. So we love wow. that. We definitely love that. So I must, you say, I must say the um it's been um I'm a little cold when it comes to doing interviews, so it's been a while, so oh, I don't think man, come on now, as talented as you are, you are great, you are great Thanks. um so since we are black girl nerds, I must ask you what is the what is your favorite nerd kind of indulgence? Are you a cosplayer? Are you a gamer? Like what's some, what are some of your favorite nerdy activities? Oh, um, the, the computer here, just the computer, just, just, um, 
um, sound um, applications, um, the communications. Um, Ding. Music, uh, um, uh, figuring out new ways to configure the devices that I have to do exactly what I need them to do. Mm -hmm. um, um, cross cross platform communication, um, regardless of the age of the device, because um, mm -hmm. sometimes you know as the devices change, your applications change. So figuring out figuring out the um, the supports in order to make sure that um, the investment doesn't go bad because you've got a new device, you got to find the correct um, drivers in order for certain hardware, external hardwares to, to function or work or just that's, yeah. Did that go? Monica, you are every, every <laughs> <Nerd. answer. laughs> answer because, you know, I think about that. Like you said, you set your mom up with uh, doing her Zoom with her buddies or her Zoom yoga. And then you got your background popping. I think you, I think you probably could teach me some things because I couldn't even get mine together. Uh, would you, if you, if you weren't acting, would you be the tech person? Would you be the IT? Are, are you, would you be the IT manager at a corporation? To a fault. Yeah, to a fault by just somebody basically asking me a question and then me just sort of rattling off a couple of things. Like I was in the Apple store one day and somebody asked me a question about something that they were doing with they were um, they were recording or something. And I said, you know what, the best way to um, for his particular issue, I, I suggested um, an external hard drive hmm. or, um, running and operating the application um, from and saving all of his information on external hard drives. That way it keeps, it frees up space for him to, um, on his computer and he doesn't clog up the space on his whatever device, if it's a, a desktop or a laptop. That was just, that's to a fault. You ask a question and that's just, that's Calhoun, just how. Calhoun Communications, LLC. That might be the, 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 you know, the next thread in the background. Calhoun uh, Communications. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and, and lastly, before we wrap it up, we've got Vanessa and Max, and we're wait, and I'm waiting for other people to see the reaction to the journey that the two of you take during this film. When is the film going to be available for all of us to see? Now, the film is available, to my understanding, on umc.tv. UMC, you can download the app. You can go into the um, Apple TV and type in UMC and you can find all of the information there or you can go directly to the, the website, umc.tv, download the app from there and, um, and watch it from that. Uh, after you download the app, watch the film and there's a whole slew of African-American created content mm. or film created by people of, uh, of color um, on UMC. Um, da -da 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 -da, what else? Uh, you can also, um, I think, believe you can also access the content mm -hmm. just by logging in and not necessarily downloading the, the app. But of course, we want to encourage everyone to invest in um, the Urban Movie Channel because it has um, a wealth of content of um, created by people of color um, actors directors writers producers everything it's um, an archive if you will and also um, every week they're adding new stuff mm, okay excellent okay and one more question monica you look so good in this movie your your body looks amazing. You look amazing. What do we need to be doing so we can be fine like Monica Calhoun? I see I'm the wrong person to answer that advice right now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I said, wow. Just because, you know, this whole 2020 quarantine, sit at home, don't go outside. Okay, you can go for walks. No, you can't go for walks. Social distance, uh, don't, so, you know, that whole, that my, my routine for me is completely off. And I do have some things that I need to work out. Um, but if I would, if, if um, the advice if I could give advice, I would say, you know, drink lots of water, lots of cardio when you can. Um, it's difficult to say that because it's a killer bacteria that we're hiding from, you know? Yes, ma'am. Yes, So ma what sparks it, I can't really advise, you know, I, I wouldn't suggest, I mean, but what I'm trying to do, uh, I'm trying to um, lower my calorie intake, um, um, leafy green um, vegetables, trying to um, more leafy green, less um, less meat, less dairy. Can't get away from the cheese. I love mm -hmm. the cheese. Um, but that's pretty much, that's it. All right. Well, Monica, I thank you so much for your time. I enjoyed your movie and I just enjoyed talking to you. I, I've, I've been a fan of yours for for a long, long time. So it was just an absolute pleasure to talk to you. I truly appreciate you. And like you said, there were a lot of, um, there are a lot of themes in everything but a man that um, we can't necessarily discuss right now because we want to the audience to, to have a chance to, to really see it and, and lack on, um, excuse me, lock on to those thoughts mm -hmm. and have and form an opinion, formulate an opinion about it. Um, I am happy to, after, you know, uh, more than a few people have had the opportunity to see the film to, to revisit, um, this conversation so that we can break down, do a forum, if you will, and, and invite a gallery of people and, and just kind of, you know, chop it up and really talk about dive deep so that the conversation, because it, it this film is along the lines of, you know, um, equal rights and, and, um, Mm -hmm. Generalization, stereotypes, you know, misinformation, judge over judgment, a lot, a lot, a lot of issues. A lot. Layers. Polyamory. Layers. Polyamory and a few yes, others. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Monica. And yes, we will definitely revisit because we need to break down Vanessa and Max all the way down. All the way. All right. Thank you so much, Monica. Have a wonderful afternoon. You too. Ciao. Bye. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.